All right, here this morning on the Cobra channel, we're working on some reloading problems. And our question is, again, for our 88 miles of your block in the camera here. Uh, if you want to produce a safe load pressure-wise, it won't blow the gun. We're run into a small problem. There's two units. The CUP is the copper crush units. Uh, against PSI and actually I have my brother here working out on the formula to convert these so I can tell the difference there's a bit of confusion are we using the older pressure unit or compared to PSI everybody throws out a number PSI and even in metric units so we have to figure out and explain what pressure unit we're using, older or new, and uh, then we'll take it from there. We've made a couple test loads, and we're trying to figure out to make sure the uh, information is accurate. So I'm telling you it's one unit of measurement, and you're thinking it's PSI, and actually we're loading ammunition that's you know, 20, 30,000 PSI over. It's a safety factor. So we're working on this problem now, and probably do a video on the results. I did one uh, mild load result for a jacketed bullet and I'll try to get them uh, videos out today. Yeah, all right, what do we got here conversion wise? You got a chart. Yeah, this converts your ANSI cup to your PSI. Okay. And this, this bro does this the opposite, it converts PSI to cup. All right, and you gave me a set series of numbers so I can check against my reloading manuals and come up with a rough idea of the difference between the two Correct. measurements, PSI. All right, very good. Thank you very much, man. I have my brother here working out the mathematical problems of this. All right, so send that to me, and then that way I can use that and finish this up. Okay, as you can see from the first part of the video, we had a brainstorming session and had to clarify our technical stuff. And the big question is correlating PSI to CUP, okay? And what it is is when you're in a reloading manual, you're going to find two things on the load. Usually the older CUP, uh, I think which is stands for copper crush uh, units or PSI. I found a uh, article online and I'll try to post a link to it basically correlating uh, the two together because a lot of your <coughs> load data information in your manuals is going to be in uh, CUP units. Okay. Magic number for the 88 Mausers, and that's what this whole thing is about, is trying to make a safe jacketed bullet load for the Mauser 88s and give you correct information. It's 40,000. Uh, we'll probably go with CUP or PSI. Now, I have my brother, the engineer, in here helping me, and he put together a little thing that works on an Excel spreadsheet. It's got a chart that goes from one to the other. He got from the article, he got the mathematic formulas in that. And he made me a little conversion thing. And if we look at this and well basically I think he's got it on there on the chart. 40,000 CUP is basically 42,732 PSI. That's the relationship between them. So if we go with CUP units, according to the published data, married up to what, and you know, usually they'll have that when they test it on a universal receiver. Now I'll do a, a video on how they pressure test ammo, show you some diagrams of how they come across this. Once we get um, published data with the right ammo or the right powder and the right style bullet. These are also factors. This is an exact, can't give an exact 
then it could be off because if you use a different style bullet and a different powder, you could get different results. But um, I'll put a link to this article in with this video on the correlation of PSI and CUP, and I'll email anyone the little Excel file that wants it. Just send me an email and I'll shoot it to you. And you can download it, use it on Excel, and it'll convert it for you pretty easy. And uh, <clears throat> that way we can safely load the ammo without, uh, you know, any kind of problems of pressure. And then basically once we establish what we got pressure-wise, the powder, the bullet, we married it up to the um, feet per second from the universal receiver. And then uh, we go out, test the ammo on a chronograph, see what my results are. If they're close or under, the velocity is under an A, and it looks better, then we can, with a fairly good degree of certainty, say we've arrived at something that's safe. So uh, this is the info on that, and that's what we've been working on this morning is correlation and getting so the data is correct and give you a finite answer if you say, well, you know, the book says CUP, what does that relate to in PSI? we got an answer for that now. And then the next video is going to be on uh, what I tested on uh, the ammo the other day. I already tested one load. And it looks like, according to the information, we got a winner.